Hello there, friends. Welcome back. We've got a bit of behind-the-scenes uh, production work for the channel to take care of today. A little project to help some future videos look a little bit better. But you might be wondering, why am I starting the video with these sad... Ooh. Rotted, horribly weathered two by sixes. These are two by sixes and they're two feet long. But you can see that they've got a lot of problems. Well, you've actually, you've seen these boards before, or at least you've seen small sections of them before. Maybe six, eight, twelve inches at a time. Any time that one of my videos has featured wood as a background, they have been these boards. Either one or two of them. Maybe, maybe three, I'm not sure. But you've never seen them in their full length before because there's a lot of uh, damage and a lot of unusable pieces on them. I have to keep the camera focused fairly tightly to uh, to keep the ends out of the frame. Two years ago, or a little more, when I was thinking through what I wanted the old keys video to look like, I knew I wanted I wanted to replicate the look of an old workbench. I knew I wanted wood in the frame. And so I was scrambling around inside and outside the house looking for something that I could use as a backdrop. I had some boards in the garage, but I was looking for something that was already kind of short that I could just put on a table and, and run with. And these boards were part of a, a frame that I used in my side yard to hold up the wood pile, keep the wood off the ground, keep it from rotting. But of course, these boards were the ones to eventually rot away. The frame was laying in pieces, and I saw these sections and I thought, yeah, these would work. And I've been using them off and on ever since. But recently I dug those boards that I mentioned back out of the corner of the garage, and I thought, you know, I'd like a little more variety. I'd like uh, maybe some different panels that I could use that wouldn't have so much damage and that maybe would sit on a table a little flatter than these do. These rock a lot because they're warped. I mean, I always put them on a, on a blanket to minimize the sound, but I was thinking it might be time to put in a little work with some cutting and some some assembly and get a couple of nicer frames to use. And so that is what 
this video is all about. We're going to we're going to assemble some a couple of wooden frames from the pieces of board that I've cut earlier. I did all the noisy work uh, off camera, of course. So we have two of these to uh, put together. Uh, we have some simple craft board. This is, I'm sure, pine that we're going to use on the back side to hold the pieces together. We have some three-quarter inch number 10 wood screws. And a simple cross point or Phillips screwdriver. But the most important element are the boards themselves. You know, I was going to put these away, but I just thought maybe I'll leave these in place and we'll uh, assemble the new panels on top of these. Maybe these would make a good backdrop and keep the shine from the dining room table out of the frame. So let's take a look at the, the boards that I cut up from the garage. I've got a lighter set and a darker set. And we're going to save the darker set for last because I really like it. The wood is awesome. But this wood is good too. So you can see from back side. The back side is not painted at all, but the front side was painted at one time. And the paint has mostly been removed, revealing this kind of, uh, well, it highlights the grain nicely because the, uh, the paint is only partially remaining. And you can see we have some holes from some insect damage, which is not so good if you want to use the wood to build things with, but it looks fantastic on camera. I love the look of a, uh, a weathered piece of wood, slightly distressed piece of wood. You can see that uh, these are a uh, tongue and groove variety, although the, the groove is, well, that groove is mostly intact, but the other one's kind of shredded. And if my, if my nose did not play tricks on me, I do believe this board is cedar which I was surprised by. Cedar is a wonderful smell. And uh, after I cut these two foot pieces, I, I smelled the, uh, the newly exposed grain and it was the unmistakable smell of cedar. So that was a unexpected surprise. Now I put some put some pieces of blue tape on the backs of these as as registration marks so I could keep track of the way I thought I wanted to assemble these. So we'll take a look at what the The intent is, 
So the intent is to have a final panel that looks like this. I tried several, well, both, both options of the ways to uh, sequence the boards, and I thought this one looked the most appealing. The interesting thing about this board, of course, that you've probably noticed is that it has a decorative route uh, carved into it on on the one edge of the board, which will add some interest. And of course, when the panel is done, it can be used, I can turn it, you know, any way I want. I can use either side. So like I said, I've already done the noisy work, and that includes drilling holes in both the craft boards and in the wood itself. I uh, I transfer drilled these holes so that we've got holes in the craft board and we've got holes in the panel. And so all that we should need to do now, is assemble everything with our wood screws. And I think I have a sense that it would be smarter to start all of the screws in, let's see, bring those into the frame. sounds smart to me to start all of the screws in the craft board first, maybe with a little tip peeking out so that it can help center and align our holes. Of course, these are, in a perfect world, these little wood screws would need uh, countersinking, but we're just dealing with soft pine here, and I am not too concerned that the, the heads won't go ahead and squish down the wood where necessary. This is not, you know, this is not grade A carpentry here. Just uh, building some quick panels for For ASMR videos, this is not a uh, this is not a tutorial. <laughs> I said ever since the uh, the uh, what was it? slide viewer video where we took apart that slide viewer and fixed it that I wanted to get more tinkering style videos on the channel partially because I I really enjoy that style of video too things where simple tasks are done with the hands And I started, started thinking about making these panels some time ago because I have a, a watch video coming up soon. I haven't done a watch video for a while. And I knew I wanted a wood background for that, but I was just looking for some more variety and just something...
something a notch, a notch up from my poor, my poor beat up two by sixes. I dug out the boards from the garage and I started planning, you know, these panels. And then I stopped myself and I said, this is the perfect, perfect thing to do for a video. At least perfect for me. <laughs> kind of stuff I like to watch. And I hope you like it as well. <laughs> something, there's something very telling about the fact that, you know, when we talk about we talk about new new items for the channel to help the videos be better. We're not uh, we're not showing off new microphones or uh, green screens or any of that good stuff. We're digging we're digging old cedar boards out of the uh, garage and uh, <laughs> getting out the screwdriver. That's you know. That's, uh, that shouldn't be taken as any sort of a slight on any of those fantastic high production channels, but uh, we are a bit of a we uh, are a bit of a smaller smaller concern here, aren't we? Let's see, those might. Those might be lined up just like that. I'm going to go ahead and start. I'm going to start the ones on the ends. to the list of awkward activities or activities that are made more awkward when you're trying to do them around a microphone. strips of foam because we want to minimize the uh, the amount of sound and vibrations that conduct from the from the panel through the table into the microphone. Hope you understand that this is not the uh, normal way I use a screwdriver, but uh, Screw. 
screwdriver is a little, a little noisier than I thought it would be. if the final panel sat completely flat on the table and that's perfectly fine. We can deal with that. So I can use it with the route at the bottom of the frame or the top. I can use it from the side that has more of the old yellow paint. The side with the laughs has this great swooping kind of sharp collection of grain patterns right through here. Nice. might actually be a, a good idea to buy a couple of strips of acoustic foam to use as a base for these panels. That might be a better solution than the little towels and things that I generally use. Okay. Well, there's panel number one. What do you guys think? I think this will be a good uh, addition to the channel. Increase the production value a little bit. I hope so. So that's one. But this next one. Let's see. How do I want to show this? Now, these uh, boards are nine inches deep, so this is going to be a slightly larger panel when it's done. And I'm being a little I'm being a little tricky because I'm showing you the back side first. And the back side, I will say, is is pretty handsome. Uh, the color is fantastic. And the weathering on this grain has produced this kind of channeling effect. Um, it was also interesting that I think this board is also cedar. It had the same great smell when I uh, when I cut through it with the, uh, the hand saw. And you can see the holes that I've pre-drilled for the craft board. But this is the back side. 
this is the side that I probably will not use. And that's because the front side is the real hero. So this is just a handsome piece of wood. And you probably already see the aspect of it that made me want to make this the visible side. And it is, of course, the lines, the slightly curved lines from the mill saw that was used to cut this plank from the trunk in the first place. Such a such an evocative artifact of the process that was used to create this piece of lumber. I don't really know anything about uh, lumber production, but I assume that uh, a lot of the super smooth, clean boards that you find at your local home improvement store have been through some sort of a planer after they're cut to get rid of marks like this, but this one has not. It also has some nail holes here on this board, and there's also some some scratches from things that have been drug across the surface. And it just has a lot of personality. There's a lot of story in this board. And I think this, these are going to be the boards that I use for my uh, upcoming watch video. So I'm very pleased with, uh, with the look of this. So hopefully the panel will come together just as easily. Here's our little pieces of blue tape again. Here's me hoping that I'm not generating a ton of horrible bumps and sounds that I'm going to have to edit out later. I hope, <laughs> I hope these sound good. Here's our pre-drilled craft boards. And we'll just do the, uh, We'll do the same as before. I think that worked out well. There might be another clue in this video about what the, what the upcoming watch video is, might be about. Let you guys think about that. These boards actually belong to my mom. You know from previous uh, videos that she was uh, into ceramics. And uh, these, these boards once formed uh, shelves that she kept uh, 
ceramics on when she would take them to craft shows or, or the like. I wonder, I wonder what she would think. Not just about this uh, channel, but uh, about knowing that the boards could be repurposed in this way. It's seen by people all over the world. Interesting thing to think about. I think it's a good uh, second life for these boards rather than just sitting in a corner in the garage collecting dust. set did. I think so. We'll work on the ends first again. Love when pre drilling the holes. Didn't want to run the wood screw right into that crack. softer, 
but there could be plenty of internal areas in this cedar that are soft from insect damage or whatever. We never know what we're going to be screwing down into. In fact, this, this screw right here feels like it's not really tightening up as much. There might be some some softness right there. But again, we're not building a house. Feels good. As he tries to turn the board around without hitting microphones or cables or phones. Wow. I'm really happy with this. Yeah, this is a great piece. I'm loving this. I I already have a, a predisposition to the darker wood because, you know, I've grown to uh, appreciate the darker backgrounds in videos for people who are trying to sleep and whatnot. But even beside the color, just the story of the wood, it's just... It's just shouting at us from this piece. It's gonna, it's gonna complement. It's gonna complement videos so well. The sound, the sound of that old bone dry wood when you handle it. It's nothing quite like it. That is going to work out great. So there we have it. No brain surgery today, just some simple assembly of some items that will uh, hopefully help out the channel. Let's get the first one up here. And there we go. Now we have some options, and options are good. Thanks for uh, looking over my shoulder while we put these together. I hope uh, you found this relaxing. I know I did. And uh, look forward to the next video, which will feature this bottom panel that we've put together. You guys take care of yourselves, okay? And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.